is talk about Motorola. Um, in it, in order to connect it to your phone, you're gonna have to t download the app. Uh, talk about. So when you open the app, it's gonna look like this. Mm -hmm. So then you press start. Then you have a policy to agree. So why are you using the phone with the radio? What's the purpose of it? Okay, so on the on the phone, you could um make groups of like different like people on the radio and like put into one. You could see where like people's location are. Um, you could also like ask for help and all that and see like what's going uh, on. Mm -hmm. So um, once uh, we're done agreeing the policy, uh, we have to make sure all the unpaired radios are turned off. Mm -hmm. So then, um, we have to uh, turn uh, his Bluetooth on, his phone. Okay. So now once it's turned on. I hope you're messing with Roy's phone there. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing incriminating on, on there, his... is there, Roy? Roy, that is a mesh network. Okay, so it's creating a mesh so network. Words, that phone will work with another phone without the, the cell tower. Okay, so it's using the radio as the point to yeah. make the mesh. We're the one who introduced me to mesh network. Sure, so I, yeah. Last year we brought the Goltena, showed it. Yeah. This is a Goltena. Slide down, it's you can get Bluetooth. Into the phone. Okay. Yeah. But they have to use so, the radio. Uh, yeah, 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 it was a Into the radio. That's a regular right. FR family radio, just like all the ones you buy. But they, they put on the mesh on top of it, right? Okay. So you're going to have to allow for it to, like, um, have your location on so, like, uh, other people in your group can see where you are just in case, like, anything bad happens. So then once you have it, uh, your location on, you have to turn on your radio you're going to connect to. And then uh, to uh, connect it to Bluetooth, press the four, uh, the four square button. And it's uh, Bluetooth right there, and I have to turn it on. Ooh. So now my Bluetooth is on. It has different like rings to it. Okay. So now my Bluetooth is on. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna press pair radio. So that syncs that links yes. the two devices together. Now once you hear that it's gonna be uh, ready. You could also test it to see that it's um, connected. Okay. And then, in case like you did anything like you accidentally paired it to the wrong thing, you could put unpair. But right now I have a pair to the right phone. So now you're gonna have a username, Roy. I'm gonna just put Roy. And then you're also gonna have to add your phone number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> So that is a walkie-talkie. Okay. Like people have in their house. They sure. They them Toys R Us sure. and Academy. Okay. So you can use it for camping, hiking. Mountain. So you could use it as a regular walkie-talkie yeah. or right. as... But it's also it's got the mesh network in it where you've got map and location. Sure. So if you're at the bottom of the mountain and your friend's up at the top of the mountain and somebody's over here, the whole crew knows where everybody is Sure. on the map. Yeah, one, one of the things, some background for some of the newer folks, with, when we talk about a mesh network, it is a distributed network of devices. And we're so used to having the internet and the cell phone and all that working all the time, except when there's a hurricane or a tornado and you don't have any power, then you're in big trouble. So uh, after a number of the hurricanes last year, uh, Dan's team really got into the mesh networking stuff with some of these radios, and we'd also done little devices like these, little battery powered devices. So if you'd imagine if you had this at your house and that at your house and this at your house and you're on the same neighborhood, 
you could communicate with each other without requiring any infrastructure. So you wouldn't need cell towers or anything else because that device would, so if, if you wanted to send a message here, it would go doo doo doo, talk to this one, it would say, okay, where is, where is he at? Doo doo doo, talk to that one over there. So it's a really interesting uh, technology. It's very robust and uh, it's designed to have some sort of communication when everything else fails. What's the range on that? The range uh, depends on the radio. Uh, anywhere from about a mile to uh, just a couple hundred feet. So you'd have to, on some of it, you'd have to distribute a lot of them. But the key is, is this technology, the price has come down so much that this costs about $10, right? So if you, if you had a disaster like in Puerto Rico, you could drop a thousand of these, airdrop them, and, you know, in, in an appropriate container. Yeah, yeah, There's no, right. It gets pretty wet out there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's that's a, a problem we have been working on, is that. But yeah, that's what's cool with this mesh stuff, is it allows that sort of communication to occur when things are really going wrong. We take it, you know, we take it for granted when things work. When they don't work, we get a little worried. This range is as far as a tower, where the towers are. And the range on that, but it works with the tower down. Okay, no, that's good. To do. <clears throat> okay, so now that I have his number, you could also use it without a phone number, but I'm using it with the number. So now that you have the number, and it's going to send you a verification code. Okay, no, okay. Now I'm going to uh, get the code that it sent me. Let me copy it. Okay. So now I'm going to the talk about app. And then uh, putting the code in. So this would be something me. I'd want to do before the disaster strikes. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> Okay. And that's what you're doing, Dan, right? Is you're get, you're getting yeah, everybody get my part the, the goal. Yeah, the goal. Let me. Yeah. You're next. Um, let me. Oh. Write the code down, so I won't forget it. Oh, are you done? Huh? No. No. Okay. So the code. Once it's done. Um, I'm gonna have to put into the verification thing, so. Let me, okay. So now that I, oh, hold on, sorry. Now I'm putting it's in the code. It's a straightforward process. Now I'm, huh? in, now I'm putting in the code. So then I'm pressing done since I already have the code. So now it's giving like some tips, like stay informed and sure. like have updates. Like the rain depends on the terrarian, sorry. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Terrain. Terrain. Terrain and conditions and the optimum with an obstructed line of sight. So So if you could see it, you're going to get mm -hmm. a better signal than if you're going through a brick wall. Okay, then it also says optimize battery life by turning phone to airplane mode. You could also plan your trip, download maps to get your device before you go off the grid. And then it gives you like other tips on what to do. So then after you're done with the tips, you're going to press start. So now, um, since uh, we're done with everything, the tips and all that, it's going to bring you to this page. And then it's going to ask you if you want to connect your social media and all that to this. Uh, it, I think you can put deny to. So in okay. the middle of a disaster, I could post on Instagram. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More flooding. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my app on here. Because right now me and Dr. Ka are on the same group. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna put add a new member. I could, you could put his phone number in or you could use his um, username that he has. Now I'm gonna add myself on his, uh, so, because I know my number. Okay. So now you could press add, oh. You also have to put the name. Okay. So now I have added myself onto his phone. I could put like any color you want. Oh, ooh. You could put any color you want. Purple. Like there's a different range of what you could do. So now since you have that you could go right here, go to maps, and then it could show you different things to see the location of other people. <coughs> you go to these three people head things, and then look, when you turn your phone, it like shows you where you are and all that. So it gives you a map? Yes. Okay. So then you could put, sh uh, you press on the show um, thing, like where the eyeball is. And then you click on the name you want to see, then select. So now I just need to go to. Ooh, I even put my password. Okay. So now I'm going to add Roy. So you're adding each other? Mm hmm. So one person you've added. You can add a whole group. He so he added on his phone. You added her, and then on yeah, her phone you have to be. Her. It's like Facebook. You have to add, be friends like a or friend. Whatever. Yeah, right. Okay. And you can yeah. shout to a group, or you can send individual messages. So if the guy is up you know, skiing, he broke a leg, he can shout out, and everybody uh, and, from and whoever that. might be closest. Right. Gotcha. Now this is my radio. Let me turn it on because I need to connect my phone to my radio. Then uh, also to contact people, like text them on here, you uh, go to chat and then press shout. Then you could talk to, right now he only has mine so he uh, doesn't mind. He can only shout to you. Yeah, so you could text anything like, hello. Then it has some time to like, a uh, load. It has like a little clock thing right here. Hmm. Right now, my radio should be connecting. What happens if I press buttons here? If I break it, 10 four, good buddy. Oh, right here's the flashlight. Sorry, um, the radio concludes a flashlight. Yeah, I just blinded myself. A low and high frequency. Uh, you could put different channels, Bluetooth, anything like that. It has a charger right here if your battery's dead. It has a clip right here. And then you could like, of course, put it high volume, low volume. And then there's like an emergency one right here. An emergency button. <laughs> As he just pressed. <laughs> Great demonstration. I was having an emergency. <laughs> and then there's also where you could put headphones on the top. Nice. Okay. We Thank you. Move on. Thank you. Oh, there's a question. How much are these running? That's oh. my question. <laughs> Oh, okay. The set, set uh, is eighty dollars. Yes, you can get it at, some at Sam's. You can get them for eighty dollars a set for a pair. Two. Okay. So. And it comes with a case and like the batteries and like the chargers. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, Lisa, you want to finish?